Welcome to NXP's Blue Streak family of microcontrollers. In this presentation, we will introduce Blue Streak microcontrollers, provide examples of the application space, go over the feature set, as well as the development tools and operating systems. Let us first look at a brief introduction of the family. We will first start by defining what Blue Streak is and how it relates to NXP's highly successful. LPC family of MCUs. Blue Streak is a line of general purpose ARM7 and ARM9 MCUs with built in LCD controllers. NXP acquired Blue Streak from Sharp in July 2007. Blue Streak complements the highly successful LPC family by adding on chip LCD and memory management unit functionalities. The MMU allows NXP to expand its reach to applications that require a platform operating system like Linux and WinCE, or applications that need more than just simple memory protection. The Blue Streak family consists of nine MCUs. Four are based on ARM7 TDMI, three are based on ARM7 20T, and two are based on ARM9 22T. MCUs have different combination of features and all have on-chip LCD controllers. All MCUs are rated to operate in industrial temperature range between minus 40 and plus 85 Celsius. However, for those customers who do not intend to operate at these limits, the data sheet provides an easy to use graph of speed versus voltage versus temperature. So the end customer can basically dial in the speed based on the application being developed. The MCUs are built in 0.18 micron process at NXP's partner UMC. Packaging is done at NXP's partner Amcor. The family also supports an impressive set of tools and development systems and backed by a network of worldwide partners. Because Blue Streak MCUs are rich in features, they are used in many market segments. Here's a quick look at the main features of the Blue Streak family in terms of MMU, RAM and cache, frame buffer, LCD controller, touchscreen, USB, Ethernet, DMA, memory interface, booting from NAND, and CAM. Please note that all MCUs have an external bus interface that supports SRAM and flash, but not all support SDL. Now let us take an in-depth look at the application space for these MCUs. Let us first take a look at some examples of actual end products that is built around these microcontrollers. In the consumer market, Blue Streak MCUs are used in white goods, espresso machines, digital picture frames, multimedia toys, steam ovens, audio equipments, and educational tablets. In the automation market, they are used in point of sale, home automation, factory automation, and remote controllers. In the automotive market, they are used in engine diagnostics and fleet management. In the measurement market, we are used as data collectors. And in the medical market, we are used in portable diagnostics. In the recreational market, they are used in fish finders. Blue Streak MCUs are not just limited to the end products we just saw in the previous slide. They can be used in the following markets and applications. Consumers. Recreational, industrial and commercial, medical, automotive, instrumentation, and testing. Now that we have introduced the Blue Street family and talked about the application space, let us go through the feature set of each member of the family. Our first member is the LH754XX. We will go through each key feature. For the remaining members, we will only highlight the major differences. 
The LH754XX consists of an ARM7 TDMI running at 84 megahertz over industrial temperature range. 16 kilobyte tightly coupled SRAM for a deterministic response. 16 bit external data bus that supports SRAM and NOR flash. Flexible LCD controller that eliminates the need for a costly external controller. It is capable of driving up to 4096 colors and up to VGA resolution. Four channel DMA that allows memory transfers independent of the CPU, thus boosting performance. A channel of 10 bit A to D with touchscreen controller for voltage and temperature measurements as well as interaction with the LCD. A CAN 2.0B for automotive and industrial applications. Three UARDs for serial communication, for example, interfacing with a GPS module or a Bluetooth module, as well as for debugging. A synchronized serial peripheral interface, also known as SSP, that supports three standards, Motorola SPI, National Microwire, and TI's SSI. Three counter timers that support capture, compare, and PWM functionality. A watchdog timer to protect against system malfunction. A real-time clock that provides a mechanism to keep track of time a power and clock controller that provides five power modes and generates system and peripheral clocks. A vectored interrupt controller for faster interrupt execution. A linear regulator that allows the core and the IO to be powered from a single voltage supply. The LH754XX has four members depending on whether the MCU has CAN 2.0B functionality and or a color LCD controller as shown in the table. Having said that, the LH75400 and LH75410, the two MCUs with gray LCD controller are not recommended for new designs and will be discontinued in 2008 following the standard NXP discontinuation process. The LH75401 and the LH75411, the two MCUs with color LCD controllers, are pin compatible replacement. NXP has an application note to help customers who have designs based on the LH75400 and LH75410 to migrate to the LH75401 and the LH75411, respectively. The LH79520, running at 77.4 MHz over industrial temperature range. The ARM720T has an 8 KB unified pan that is shared between instructions and data, as well as a memory management unit, which makes the LH79520 a great ARM7 solution for Linux applications. The LH79520 has a 32 kilobyte internal SRAM for storing time critical data. It also has a 32 bit external bus interface and supports STRAM in addition to SRAM and NOR flash. It has a 16 bit color LCD controller that is capable of driving up to VGA resolution. The rest of the features are similar to the LH754XX. Let us now look at the LCD performance of the LH79530. Driving a quarter DGA with 16 bit color, the LCD controller consumes 16% of the bus bandwidth and leaves the CPU with 37 megahertz out of 75 megahertz perform other functions. The assumptions we used in the performance calculations are shown below the table. Mainly, 
The LCD refresh rate is 60 hertz. The cache hit ratio is 85%. And we are using an external SD RAM to store our code. Data and LCD frame buffer. Driving a VGA with a 16-bit color, the bus bandwidth consumed by the LCD controller jumps to 72%. And the CPU is left with only 18 megahertz out of 75 to perform other functions. Moving on to the LH79524 and LH79525, the two MCUs combine the features of the LH754XX and the LH79520. In addition to that, both have the capability of booting from NAND flash, a 10100 Ethernet Mac for networking, a USB 2.0 full speed device for communication with a host device like a PC, an I squared C for controls, I squared S for interfacing to audio codecs, and the rest of the features are similar to the LH79520 and the LH754X. The LH79524 and LH79525 differ in external data bus width, the number of color bits supported by the LCD controller, the number of GPIO, and the package type. Switching to ARM9, the Blue Streak family has two members, the LX7A400 and the LX7A404. The LX7A400 is a subset of the LX7A404. The LX7A400 is based on ARM9 22T core and runs up to 255 megahertz over the industrial temperature range. The core has an 8 kilobyte instruction cache as well as an 8 kilobyte data cache, allowing simultaneous instruction fetches and data access. The core also has a memory management unit. The internal SRAM is 80 kilobytes, which can either be used to store critical data or as a partial frame buffer. Audio functionality is possible with the AC97 interface, which is similar to I squared S. In terms of supporting memory cards, the LX7A400 supports MMC, PCMCIA, and Compact Flash. The LX7A400 also has a smart card interface that is ISO 7816 compliant. The LX7A400 also has two channels of DC to DC converters. The rest of the features are similar to the previous MCUs we've talked about. Since the LX7A400 is a subset of the LX7A404, NXP is not recommending the LX7A400 for new designs. Customers who are interested in the LX7A400 could use the LX7A404 instead. As we mentioned in the previous slide, the LX7A404 is a superset of the LX7A400. It has all the LX7A400 features, plus up to 266 megahertz under industrial temperature range, a vectored interrupt controller, a 10-channel 10-bit A to D converter along with a touch screen controller, a battery monitor interface, an external VMA channel, USB 2.0 is upgraded to support host and device. The MMC is upgraded to support secure digital standard. The ability to boot from NAND flash, a PS2 interface for connecting to keypads, and the addition of two PWMs, which are great for motor control, LCD backlight control, and simple sound generation. 
The LCD performance of the LH7A404 is far more superior than on the ARM7. Driving an SVGA with 16-bit color, the LCD controller consumes 36% of the bus bandwidth and leaves the CPU with a respectable 133 MHz out of 266 to perform other functions. The ability to easily drive an SVGA LCD panel is attributed to an LCD dedicated bus and a local SRAM that frees up the main AHB bus from LCD traffic. Driving an XGA with 16-bit color, the LCD controller consumes 72% of the bus bandwidth and leaves the CPU with 78 MHz to perform other functions. The complete feature set of all Blue Streak MCUs is summarized in this table. Now that we have covered the feature set of the MCUs, let us turn our attention to the development tools and operating systems. Blue Streak is supported by an extensive and global network of third party providers covering compilers, assemblers, and debuggers, graphical and media applications, JTAG debuggers, development boards, design services, operating systems, and training. For a complete list, please check out the following link. To support a wide range of applications and market segments, we have partnered with multiple operating system vendors to provide ports that range from platform OS like WinCE and Linux to real-time OS like MicroC OS and Credix. One particular partner that is worth noting is ActImagine. ActImagine MobiClip format occupies less space and requires less CPU performance to decompress. ActImagine MobiClip video format allows high-quality video clips to run an ARM core at 24 frames per second without the need for a dedicated media engine. For example, a quarter VGA MobiClip video requires an average 110 megahertz as opposed to 300 megahertz for an MPEG-4 video. This makes the LH7A404 an excellent choice for quarter VGA multimedia applications. Another example is a wide QSIF MobiClip video that requires, on average, only 60 MHz. And that makes the LX752X an excellent choice for wide QSIF multimedia applications. In addition to the extensive third-party partner network, NXP facilitates designs by providing a comprehensive software library free of charge and accessible via the web to its customer base and tool partners, along with full documentation. Blue Streak MCUs are now fully integrated into the NXP family of microcontrollers. Clicking on Support Docs link at the bottom of the table will take you to the software library. The software library consists of five board support packages based on Logic PD's SDK. Here's a look inside the LH754XX software package. The BSP contains instructions, examples, drivers, utilities, and much more. As mentioned earlier, the datasheet contains very useful information that allows designers to take full advantage of the MCU. I extracted the following information from the LH75401 datasheet to provide some examples. One example is the frequency versus voltage versus temperature summary table and graph. The LH75401 speed is 84 MHz at 1.7 volts and 85 degrees. However, customers who are satisfied with commercial temperature range can get 86 MHz. And if they further control the voltage at 1.9 volt, then the speed goes to 97 megahertz. 
The graph shows more data points for temperature and voltage. Another example is the current consumption by core IO analog as well as by peripheral, which is becoming a standard requirement from designers nowadays. With this, we come to the end of the presentation. So let's go over the main points one more time. Blue Streak MCUs are designed for general purpose applications, designed for industrial range operations, suitable for deeply embedded, embedded and platform applications, has a wide selection of development tools and third party support. All Blue Streak MCUs have a flexible color LCD controller that complements a rich feature set making it suitable for human interface, control, and communication applications. BlueStreak also complements the LPC family of MCUs. This concludes our presentation on NXP's BlueStreak ARM microcontrollers. We hope you found the information helpful and informative. Thank you for your time.